Apologies for the dirt on the bike. So this is the Kawasaki Vulcan S ABS. Thank you. 2018. I've had this one for just under a week at the moment. I've done, I think, about 120 miles. 132, okay, never mind. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, so the last bike I had was a, uh, a Dinky 125 Suzuki Marauder. Loved the bike, loved the position, and I wanted something bigger, something better. There was a Suzuki Intruder at a local dealership, but I saw this online. And I want to give a massive shout-out to two YouTubers, Killercam and also the Cockney Biker, who both put a lot of content regarding the Kawasaki Vulcan on their channel. So, this is orange. Yeah, I know. It was either orange, a sort of a, a cloudy white. hope the sunshine ain't too bright for you there. A cloudy white colour, same sort of colour as the, uh, the suspension spring in the middle there. Or this. So yeah, the black, the cloudy white, or lava pearl orange, I think they called it. And it's kind of grown on me. So a few people out there go on about how easy the bike is for new riders or people moving up to a larger motorcycle engine, a bigger bike. And you know what it is? I just, I can't stress that enough. It is just amazing for beginner riders. It's so forgiving. It's so flingable. And I love it. Also, there was a winter deal going on at the local dealership. That's the reason I got it now, rather than waiting till summer, because, you know, I'm a bit stupid. So I drive up there in the ice and snow because of this. The Arrow exhaust for the Vulcan S. This thing sounds like an absolute monster. I've heard people talk about the original stock exhaust sounding nice, perhaps a little bit too quiet, or perhaps um, more like a 125. I don't really get that, but, you know, I heard it with the old exhaust on, and it was cute, it was cuddly, I liked it. And then I heard it with this one. Ah, oh, so I'm just staring off into the fields while I do that. I know the audio isn't going to pick that up too well, but the initial flick of the uh, throttle there, there's a very big sort of boom that comes through. And it sounds lovely. So let's take it for a ride. Oh. So yeah, first impressions. Oh my God. And I mean that in a good way. The only bad thing I've got about the bike at the moment is simply where the pegs are but I'm getting used to that you can adjust the pegs so have the pegs adjusted for you they're currently in the middle position you can have them adjusted further away or closer to you you can also buy a new seat which pushes you further towards the front of the bike like so and you know what this is just this is how the bike comes as standard and I'm warming to it I'm getting used to the position the seating the balance everything and the power so yeah it's quite nice. Oh my god, that feels so good. <laughs> So at the moment we're just cruising, the road's quite bumpy as well, but because the bike is so comfortable and you're in such a lovely seat and seating position, it just doesn't really matter. I just, I can't put it into words how exciting this bike is. I really can't. But I do highly recommend it, and like a lot of the other YouTubers out there, you can go check them out. Have a, have a gander. If you have a Vulcan S, leave a comment below. If you don't have a Vulcan S, leave a comment below. Maybe ask why you should get one, or why you shouldn't have one. Who knows?
to say I fell in love with this bike when I started seeing videos of it on YouTube people sort of advertising the bike in their own way and then when I found that there was a dealership not too far away from me that sells them I thought oh okay that's the first thing I'm going to go to I did have a couple of bikes in mind beforehand and I've sat on one or two of them and I thought yeah that's nice there's a big cruiser there was one which I couldn't actually get off the stand I couldn't physically lift it off the stand which was interesting to say the least I'm so glad I didn't buy that one So I just want to say thank you for clicking on the video, thanks for checking me out. If you want to have a look at any more content I've got down below, go ahead, just do it, you know, have some fun. I'm not going to tell you to like and subscribe to the channel because you're a human being and you're capable of making your own damn decision. So, have a good one, and until next time, it's half an hour. Easy.